Hello doctors, hope you all are fine. Today our topic of discussion is USMLE. USMLE is actually a big big dream for all the doctors all over the world and also for me. Okay, so USMLE is actually stand for United States Medical Licensing Examination. Okay, United States Medical Licensing Examination. I have been through many videos on YouTube but I didn't get the right path for the study criteria and how we have to study for USMLE step 1 and step 2. So then uh, suddenly I meet with the doctor in the hospital, he did clear his USMLE step 1. And then we sit together for 4 hours and then he tell me all these study criteria which I am going to share with you guys. Okay. So this, this criteria is actually an experience based. Okay? So, USMLE, okay, the first important thing for USMLE, make it target. If you make it target for yourself, then you can get it. Make it target and work hard for it and you will be a best, best doctor in the whole world. Okay, so the study criteria for USMLE is step one. So in first read, you have to follow the Kaplan lecture notes with videos. There are 71 videos which are the new videos we can call it 2014 videos okay and each lecture is actually somehow 4 hours or more than 4 hours and total videos is 71 71 okay so you have to follow Kaplan lecture note, notes with videos and the second one is actually Petoma Petoma is actually written by Hussein S. Attar. and there are also videos lecture for Petoma so with this Petoma you have to follow the videos lectures for Petoma now the third one is actually BRS Physiology, Broad Review Series Physiology. So these three are for the first read. You have to follow this, okay? Mansur, please help me in the box. Okay, so you can see guys, this is BRS Physiology, okay? This one is BRS Physiology, okay? For Physiology, you have to follow this book. BRS Physiology, these are the review kind of books and very, very good. And also MCQs with their solutions, how to solve the MCQs, okay? So this is BRS Physiology, okay? Now you guys can see what I'm talking about, Keflan Lecture Notes. These are the Keflan Lecture Notes, okay? This is for USMLE Step 1. And these are seven books, okay? These are seven books, okay? And for example, pathology, biochemistry, anatomy, and uh, biochemistry, anatomy, pathology, behavior science, okay? And pathology, okay? Behavior science, immunology, and microbiology, okay? And this one is anatomy, and this one is pathology. So this is this is almost part step one. These are seven books, okay? These seven books are called Kaplan Lecture Notes. You have to follow this with the videos, okay? The new videos, which is 2014 videos, okay? And one thing that is good about these new videos is that, for example, if you start the videos of anatomy, these videos are page-wise. For example, if this is 89 page, and you will find here in the videos 89 number page. And you can follow with the page. And if he said, if the teacher explain it, you can write it here. You can note it here, okay? You can note the explanation here. So go with videos. Don't study it alone, okay? Don't study it alone and don't watch the video alone. You have to go together. Together with Kaplan Lecture Notes, I mean with these books, together with the videos. These are 71 videos. And almost you can finish this first read. It will take almost three months. For an average student, three to four months you can finish it, okay? So this is Kaplan Lecture Notes and you can find the videos, okay? I have the video, but... Maybe your friends in the college or in the medical college they have, so you can ask them for the new videos, okay? 2014 videos. Each lecture is more than almost four hours or more than four hours, okay? And totally 71 videos lecture. So for these seven books, the 71 videos lecture, follow it together, okay? And you can finish it in almost three to four months, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Now, okay, the second the second read is actually we are going for the second read. When you finish this thoroughly, you will go to the... Then you have to follow the second read, you have to follow first aid. Then again you have to follow Petoma. This Petoma, again you have to study this Petoma. And again you have to study BRS physiology. Okay? So, first aid. Now first aid. Okay, come on. Please help me. So this is... You can see this is first aid. First aid for USMLE step 1. Okay? This is first aid for USMLE step 1. This actually, this edition is 2015 edition. Try to, try to get 
2016 edition okay try to get the new edition okay when you properly finish this then you can come to the first aid first aid you can almost finish it in around two months around two to three months you can finish this is review this is high yield points okay you can finish all these seven books in this this is just a one book for US Millie Step 1 and it is a kind of review book okay but try to get the new edition that is 2016 edition and the same thing the same thing this is BRS Physiology as I told you okay you have also have to follow BRS Physiology Petuma I don't have right now Petuma but you can you can find it in the medical shop and if you say just Petuma this is written by Hussein Sattar okay so you can also follow Petuma okay thank you for that for the third read again, for the third read again, you have to go past aid, petoma, BRS, physiology. Because in the third read, you are going to follow QMBANG. These are almost six young books for QMBANG. QMBANG means they are questions, question books. They will give you an MCQs and they will give you the answer. Maybe A, B, C, D like this. And they will say that the B is right and others are wrong. Why B is right and why others is wrong? There is also explanation. So, QMBANG. So because for this QMBank you need to read, you need to again review this kind of books like First Aid, Petoma and BRS Physiology, okay? So QMBank. Now in the fourth read, you will go for U words. U words is applying and online. Applying you can get it from someone who already done with US Middle Step 1. They may be have in the PDF and you can get it from them. But online, you have to go through online and you have to check for these U words, okay? This is the third read, U words. Now the last one read is fifth one read. And this is called NBME, National Board Medical Examination. NBME, National Board Medical Examination. These are consisting on seven applying and seven online. Applying you can get from someone who already have done with USMLE, Stefan. Online you have to buy, you have to buy it from the net, okay? You will buy it from, it's almost Pakistani rupees, uh, 25,000 to 35,000. You can buy this, okay? And this is a kind of test. The real one test but this is not the real test like we can say pre-board pre-board exam or like pre-exam this one is the pre-exam and so in the when you when you read all these things offline and online they will give you mcqs and you have to solve it and then you will know yes you are ready for us Mili step one and then you can you can you can apply for us Mili, but try to try to apply for us Mili before this okay like you are in the third read you can apply apply for it before one month okay because the US Mili test is actually weekly and the fee for the US Mili step 1 it is almost $1,000 okay $1,000 okay now remember in all these read hematology is not good so for hematology you have must have to follow the book that is called Guljan this is written by Guljan Guljan you can follow this one book for hematology okay this is a good one for hematology you have to follow Guljan Okay, now the total marks for US Mili Step 1, it's almost 329. The passing marks is 190, but try to get marks more than 230, more than 40. Okay, try to get, because as you get your US Mili Step 1, then Step 2 is consisting on two things. The one is 2CK and another is 2CS. 2CK means clinical knowledge, you can give it in anywhere, in your country or in other country. But for 2CS, you must have to go to USA. When you go to USA, they will, you will get that 2CS clinical skill examination when you pass there you will stay here you will stay there in USA but in the whole process what matter is actually US Mili step 1 marks so US Mili step 1 marks are very very important when you pass your step 2 to CK and 2 CS actually step 3 is actually for residency that is simple for nationality okay you will apply for nationality so US Mili step 1 marks are very very important for matching your for matching, okay. Matching means I mean you will select your you will select your uh, specialization, any specialization you want to do. With that, because there are almost 51 states in USA, and according to your marks, they will give you a specialization, and according to your marks, they will give you any state. Okay, they will give you a state. So that's why it's very very important the marks. Try to get more marks than 230 and 240. Many students they just passed the US Mili and they also passed. US Mili Step 2, but marks was not enough and then they go back, then they get back to their countries, okay? So try to get more marks. I mean try to get more marks, more than 240, okay? Make a target, you can, you can do it, okay? Don't listen to other, okay? Just listen to your heart and study for it, okay? Put this US Mili in your brain and your heart and then make a target and work hard for it and you will do it, okay? Thank you guys.